What's up, folks? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, 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 welcome to not the Benedict Cumberbatch show. Welcome to Marketing for Coaches, a show that is exactly what it sounds like it is based on the name. It's just myself, Kevin Stafford, and this gentleman right here, Michael Pacheco, talking about what marketing for coaches looks like. Um, so today we have a, it's a very, very top of mind topic, I think, for us and for I mean, virtually every coach we talk to, and we we talk to dozens, we talk to <laughs> hundreds at this point on a fa fairly regular basis. There's a c word involved here, but it's it's a safe one. It's content, which is a word that you're gonna you're gonna hear left, right, and center all the time as you're working and growing your business, producing content, which is just another way of saying getting your message out there into the world in a way that people are gonna see, hear, respond to, and take action on. Now. The big C word, content, is the big C word, at least in this context, because it for a lot of people, it seems like it takes a lot of work. It seems like it's just like, man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta record this video, I gotta write this blog, I gotta do this webinar, I gotta figure out this PDF, I gotta do, I gotta say this, I gotta write that, I gotta listen to this, I gotta post that. And before you know it, you've already had a 10-hour day and you haven't once talked to a coaching client or a prospect. Um, that's a slight exaggeration, but only slight. It could be a tremendous burden to just produce, produce, produce. And one thing, well, the thing I want to talk about today, and one thing that's really at the core of of everything I like to think about when it comes to content and everything we like to do when it comes to content is to keep it short and sweet. Not short or sweet. This is another, it's another yes and statement. Short and sweet is not only possible. But quite frankly, a lot of what really moves the needle for coaches and their marketing is built on short and sweet style content. So why don't you talk about the short and sweet and sour? Oops, sorry. I'm just thinking about sauces now. Talk about short and sweet content for me. <laughs> I'm going to try to do this uh, without rambling in a way that is short and sweet itself. Um, a lot of the co coaches that I talk to, and it's not just about marketing, right? It's about yeah. It's about the balance between your your life it's a balance between running your business and a balance between coaching right mm -hmm. when a lot of the, not a lot all the coaches that i talk to uh got into coaching because they they love helping people uh mm -hmm. the the process of coaching is something that they fell in love with almost always by accident it, no one ever you know came out of high school or middle school and was like i'm gonna be a coach when i grow up it was always this meandering path and they eventually became a coach and they did it because they love coaching and they love helping people they mm -hmm. didn't do it because they love working on their business they didn't do it because they love doing taxes they didn't do it because they <laughs> love having sales calls and they didn't do it because they love marketing because if they loved them, they would have been marketers which is what I, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and because we love it sometimes to distraction, but we love it. <laughs> so long story short, a great way, you still have to do marketing. You still have to run your business, right? You still have to pay, a, you know, you still have to do your taxes and do your bookkeeping, right? If you're, if you're, if you're smart, if you're, if you're at a, at a, at a level of success, uh, that affords you the ability to, you're, you're outsourcing that stuff, right? You, you hire a bookkeeper, you have a, a tax attorney or a tax accountant. Um, we have all of those things at Boxer because I don't want to do any of it. <laughs> <laughs> and do it poorly or do it just so, so you want it all done yeah. and done well 100%. for less time. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. Um, so I'm digressing here. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to rein it in. Short, keep this short and sweet. Um, the the idea here with with marketing, at least, right? This is because we're experts at marketing, so we can talk about this with uh, with confidence, with fluency. Um, with marketing, the way that you can successfully do marketing without eating up half of your day or half of your week or whatever uh, is just keep your content short and sweet. Um, mm -hmm. You know, when you and, and consider. And I know everybody hears this, right? This is a this is a word that's been kind of beaten like a dead horse. It is uh, value, right? You you have hmm. to you have to deliver value, and and when you're 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 thinking about a piece of value, a, a piece of content, you want to think about how you can help uh, your prospects, your ideal clients, how you can help them answer a very specific question, and you want to distill your answer, distill your answer down into like 
three minutes or less, ideally, right? Five minutes or less. Keep it short, keep it sweet. Um, and then post that to the, you know, post your answers to the most effective uh, channels uh, for mm-hmm. most coaches. It's going to be LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. Um, it could be Instagram. It could be, you know, maybe maybe you're in a few, you, maybe you've got a Facebook group um, that you've got. Maybe yeah. that's a super effective channel for you. Whatever yeah. the case is, uh, take the time to think about a problem that your ideal client has, that your prospects have, how to mm-hmm. solve it. Distill, take the time to distill the answer, that solution down into three minutes or less. Mm-hmm. I don't think this is three minutes or less, but we got close. Well, we're elaborating so right. that just to aid your ability to distill. Like I remember for actually for a Facebook group that I was a regular contributor in for a while, I was I was recording short form video content. This was years ago at this point. And all I would do was like write down a thought. And this, here's the thing that's great about this. And here's 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 the easy. It's, it's going to feel like you're cheating. It's going to be so easy for you um as a coach because coaches there's if there's there's a handful of things that seem to me to unite almost all the coaches i talk to and one of them is their ability to very quickly distill complex like intellectual and emotional concepts that they've like kind of done the work on in a way that lands with other people i mean it's effectively you're coaching (laughs) into the microphone you're coaching into the camera you're already pretty good at this so good, in fact, that you do it for a living. <laughs> and it only requires a just a relatively minor shift in perspective in order to deliver that same kind of value in that same sort of distilled small package in a way that's going to radiate out in social media and, again, have that impact that you want, add that value that you want, and help people to begin that like no like and trust journey. They're going to see you. They're going to get to know you a little bit and they're going to start to trust you to the point where they're going to reach out because they're going to want to know how you do this so well in your content so that can you do this as well for me? Let's have a conversation about that. And there you go. New clients falling out of your social media feeds, left, right, and center. (laughs) So yeah, no, that's I don't have it. anything more to say. That's that's. I'm, I've, <laughs> I've, I've I've kept it short and sweet. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, yeah. Long story short, almost too late. I think we actually we brought it in this time. It is both easier than you think <laughs> and simpler than you think to have this kind of impact. And yeah, if you want to know a little bit more about it, if you'd love to hear us elaborate a little bit more, comments, call us. Email us, michael at and kevin at boxer.agency. Real easy to find. We're almost disturbingly easy to get a hold of. (laughs) So if you do want to start a conversation or have a chat or just, you know, tell us that we need to be more charming, I promise we'll work on that. (laughs) You can give us any kind of feedback you'd like. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here with us today. And we will talk to you again very soon.